Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to do another quick Python introduction in Python 2, and today we're going to be working with functions, specifically um, and similar to some of the last videos that I've done. This will be functions-based grade calculator, so let's go through the assignment really quick and see what we're trying to build. Um, it says now that we've practiced with functions, we're going to be doing a calculation of the letter grade for five different classes. So it's important to read through, if you are doing this for this specific assignment, the requirements that you have to follow. So you're prompting the user for a num numerical score for math class, and you're doing the same thing for English, PE, science, and art. And then after you've added all of those numerical scores, you have to calculate the letter grade five times for each of those classes and output the numerical score and the letter grade for each class. So we know we need to create a function, and that function is going to create the letter grades. We may add, add and change a few things uh, in there, but let's go ahead and get started. I noticed a lot of the people that I saw assignments from are actually starting to add comments to their code, which is an excellent practice, so I would definitely recommend that. Anyone who wants to keep things just a little bit cleaner, they're welcome to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is get some input. So we need to get a few scores. So we want a math score. Let's see what are the different scores we need? So we need math, we need English, PE, science, and art. Now, when the score comes in, we're going to need to add an input, and we want them to be an int. The input for, and then enter your score for, and then we'll obviously put in the um, specific subjects here. So this one's math. Make sure to add that space so they have a little bit of space for that. And then when I go into the other ones, uh, English, PE, science, and art. So it's the English, PE, science, and art. Okay, so now that we have those ready to go, we'll make sure we change these. And we want to make sure that uh, now that we have those values, we calculate the letter grade. So you can see that we have five different number grades right now. These are the numerical scores. Now we need to take those scores, we need to turn them into letter grades. So we're going to have to define a function. I'm just going to call it letter grade. You can call it whatever you want. But that function here is going to take in now remember, it needs to take something in, and this is where you put the parameters that you want to use in your function, and then you use those parameters to do some sort of calculation or other function. So in here, we're going to say, as an example, after we define this function, we need to call that function. So we say we want to run the letter grade function five times because it's going to call for each of those. Um, we want to say a letter grade. And we'll want to do that for our math score and for all of the others. And we're entering this math score in because the function itself, it won't know anything about the rest of your code. You have to make sure to send that specific parameter into the function. Now, I also have seen a lot of people who have defined functions, but they have not done this call. So it's not going to work unless you add the specific call to the function later in your code. And it has to be on this furthest left line so that you know that it's not indented into the function itself. So that letter grade, we're going to do a few things. First, we're going to want to make sure that we check what letter grade they should actually get. Now, I have here uh, grades.txt, which is a quick uh, example of what that should look like. I'm going to copy one just so that we can use that. But I'm not going to do all of them. If you are doing this with assignment, don't forget to use every single one of these. That is part of what you need to do and include all of the different grades. But I'm just going to do A, B, and C probably. So first, we're going to check that letter grade. So if it's between these two, we we'll want to print something. And then elif, because if it's not one of those, you want to do another check. You want to print something else. And then else, we're just going to have that one be our, our C. Now we could either print right here, or we could do some sort of temporary variable. So this, I'm just going to say grade. And that's going to be blank for now. Now in this case, obviously, we want to put in their number score, so we keep track of the fact that that's a number, and we're testing for that number in each of these. 
Then we want grade to be an A in this case. I'm gonna say between 90 and 100, and then 80 and 90. That was an interesting case. Notice that 90 is less than or equal to, so if it's 90, it's going to be an A. That means we want this to just be less than. We don't want less than or equal to here. And then else is going to be a C. So we've got grade equals A, and then in this case, grade equals B and grade equals C. Obviously, if you're doing the assignment, don't forget to do the actual grades. This is just for explanation purposes. Now you've got your grade. Now you can print that grade, but let's try and do something a little bit different. Let's say we want to print everything. We want to keep this code as clean as possible. We can say print your grade for, and then actually add a string to it, is a, and then we'll add the number. And then those variables would need to be the subject and the number score. So if we were to run this right now, number score is not, is, sorry, your grade for math, in this case, let's say the first one, is a, and that's your letter grade. And I'm pretty sure if we go back to the instructions, we need to print one more thing. Okay, so we need to print math. We also need to print their number, and we need to print the actual grade. So let's go back and make sure we do that. It's probably good practice to keep checking back and seeing from the assignment what you actually need to print out. So let's put the math here. So your math grade of, and then let's put another the number here. And then our last one is also a string. So that number, that string is going to be the grade that we just created. So it would be blank unless it fell into one of these and it should. Um, so letter grade itself. Now when we look at this, you see subject. I added subject, but that does not exist right now. It's not anywhere here, it's not anywhere else. So we'll need to add that first to our function so that this function has access. And then every time we call a letter grade, we need to add both a subject and a number score. So this is where we can be a little bit more specific. So now we just say letter grade math, math score. Now for all the others, we can do a similar thing because we're allowed to change the subject each time. We can say English. And now when it prints that one, it will say your English grade of whatever the number score is, and then the grade. And then here we just type in our English score. Now let's make sure this works before we uh, type all the code. Um, and as I've mentioned before, this is a common time for things to just not work. So let's see what we can get. Okay, enter your score for math. Let's say I got a 98. And I got a 75, then I got a 60, then I got a 55. Now remember, I'm gonna enter all of these scores, but we only added on lines 23 and 24, the letter grade for math and English. We should only see a printout for those two. Okay, so your math grade of 98 is an A, your English grade of 75 is a C. So it did exactly what we wanted to, and notice that it changes for math and English, but we use the exact same function to print those out. So let's go ahead and copy this. Do it one more time. We'll run this again after we're done. But English, math, PE, science, and art. And obviously here we need to change the scores. Ninety-five, eighty-five, seventy-five, eighty-five. 95. So we got our A, B, C, B, and A. Notice that those are not the exact grades because I only added three of them, but also notice that I didn't have to put this anywhere except for in this function. It makes it a lot easier and you can do things in a much simpler way. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, it was a nice quick video, but best of luck on the assignment. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be keeping an eye on the comment section and talk to you in the next one.